Well, let's uh, talk a bit about that risk and also about the role the EU could and should play in the Ukraine-Russia crisis. Henrik Enderlein joins us now in the studio. He's a professor of political science at the Hertie School of Government in Berlin. First of all, thank you very much for joining us. And then, of course, the question, how can Europe hope to be less dependent on Russian gas when it uh, passes deals like the one between Wintershall and Gazprom? Well, there's a short-term and a medium to long-term component to this. Short-term, there's nothing we can do. There is gas dependency vis-a-vis -vis Russia, and that obviously doesn't facilitate, doesn't make the situation right now with the Ukraine easy. Medium to long-term, I think, uh, there's a strategic issue for Europe to seek renewable energies within, within Europe in order to reduce that dependency vis-a-vis -vis Russia. But there is a lot of saber rattling going on right now. Your foreign ministers uh, have agreed on certain sanctions on individuals. One wonders to what effect these sanctions could actually play out. Uh, they want to send a strong a signal to Moscow, but that seems pretty hypocritical to threaten sanctions on the one side and on the other pass deals. Well, that's politics. See, on the one hand, uh, the European Union doesn't want Crimea to just go and join Russia. On the other hand, we have closed trade ties with the Russian uh, friends, with our Russian uh, counterparts, and just that's nothing you can so cut what, what off from exactly one day to the next. Stake? What, what's at stake here is that we have to resolve a political conflict, and on the one hand, we have, on the other hand, we have to keep the trade ties with Russia. Mm. So that's a difficult uh, tightrope walk. And of course, uh, for the European energy supply, officials. which yes, we also absolutely. heard about in the report. But what's important here is that. The European Union can sound, send out a strong political signal while at the same time not putting at risk the trade relations with Russia. Mm. And that's difficult and you, you call it hypocritical. I wouldn't go that far. It's just politics and okay. that's not new at all. Okay.